Hello. So in this video I will show how I care for my nails and hands. This whole routine that I'm showing in this video I do like once a week. This whole pampering shebang I will be doing. Um, first step will be removing the nail polish for my nails and I will be using these items and products in this picture right here. So before I use any polish remover on my nails, I like to prep them and I do that so um, the skin around my nails won't dry out and get all cracked because of the acetone. So first off I will be using this Glisten and Glow Nail and Cuticle Balm and this smells amazing. It is so peachy. And what I am doing off camera, I'm sorry I'm not used to doing my nail care routine on camera, so I will be going off camera view a few times, I do apologize for that. But what I'm basically doing, I am taking a good amount of this balm and um, applying it to my cuticles and I feel this balm works better than the cuticle oil for this purpose because I feel like with the cuticle oil that it um, the acetone washes the oil away but with this balm I feel like it doesn't remove the balm like it does with the cuticle oil And then I use the Bliss Kiss Simply Sealed. So I just that apply it on that on my fingers where I think or there is any possible um, for the acetone to leak to. So basically around my cuticles underside of my fingers, all over the place, basically, on my fingers. And then I have these lint-free nail wipes, and I bought these from Born Pretty or AliExpress, one of the two, and I just fold it like so, and I have my acetone and this Hello Kitty pump a hole from Fabio Nails and my acetone is from Sally's Beauty Supply and it's the one with the vitamin E oil in it and I just soak the folded nail wipe and place it onto the nail and fasten it with the clip and these clips I got from Banggood and I cannot live without them. They are amazing and they come in a set of 10 and they were really cheap too. And um, I do one hand at a time so all in all it takes me a bit over 15 minutes to you know cut my nails, remove the nail polish and so on on both hands all together. But these clips are amazing, I absolutely love them. Even when I do glitters, instead of the foil wrapping thing, I just love these. And then I let the remover work, work its magic for 5 minutes. Remove the clips and then the wipe and if there is any leftover polish on my nail I just take the wipe that is still wet and just rub it until all the remaining polish is gone I mean I have also those you know like little cups that you put on each nail you know and I hated those because the acetone just ruined my nails. I 
because it's basically soaking it in acetone for like five minutes. So lovely. So time for step two. And for part two I'll be using these items and products in this picture right here. So first of all, cuticle removing time. So I'm using this blue cross cuticle remover and I got the, this at Sally's Beauty Supply. And this is my second bottle and I just got this. My first bottle last been for like three years. And what I do, I just put a little in a dappin dish and then I apply it with a Q-tip and I do it around my cuticle and under the free edge. Like so. Just let it soak in. Find it all over, and then I let that sit for like three minutes before I start pushing back to my cuticles and removing any dead skin on the nail bed. And I have just a paper towel just to wipe off the tool I'm using. This is a stainless steel one I got from AliExpress and I'm very, very gentle. You don't want to use a lot of force with this because if you do, you can do serious damage to your nails. These are sharp. So what I'm doing, I'm doing just gently scraping off any dead skin. You can also use uh, an orange stick, but you can also do um, a lip free white. Just cover it on your other hand, one of the nails, and just scrape it. Then push back with your finger. And then I use this tool right here that I got from the Dollar Tree. It was part of a manicure set I got. And I can use a bit more force with this one, and I'm basically just rubbing to remove any remaining dead skin. Using the other side of it to just go around, scrape off. Then you have to wash your hands after you use a fruit cross. Now it's time for filing my nails and this is going to be so odd and a very short version of my filing my nails because I had to turn the camera off so I could actually uh, get my nails even because I just couldn't do it on camera. It was so strange. But um, I think I got this healthy file from my Express and then I have this you can see in the picture that is um, fine grit file from Sally's Beauty Supply, it's a washable one, and then I have uh, 180 grit file also from Sally's that is washable. And when you file your nails, buff your nails, do that in one direction, otherwise you can split your nails. Let it put yourself so file in one direction. Then just wash your hands to remove any filing dust. And 
Now the real pampering, a hot, hot water in a bowl and a manicure bomb. And if you haven't tried a manicure bomb, oh, you have to treat yourself to manicure bombs because they are amazing. So, once the manicure balm has dissolved in the water, I soak my hands for 10 minutes. I used to do the bubble white that you got from, that you get from Sally's Beauty Supply. I used to use that for like a few years now, and it left my the skin very like chalky. Snake bombs have several oils and butters in them that will just make the skin soft and really nice. So when you have used a manicure bomb, don't wash your hands because you want the oil and butter to penetrate your skin. So just pat to dry when you're done. And don't wash your hands, try not to wash your hands for the next 30 to 60 minutes. Just pat dry and make sure that your nails are dry. So that's what I'm basically doing here. Just patting dry from the manicure bone soak. And then this little jar I've had for like ages, it's hard as hoof nail hardening cream and I got this from Walmart and I think you can get this from Sally's too, Sally's Beauty Supply. And a little goes on long way, like I said, I've had this for ages and I apply this on my nails like so. And if I have, um, if I leave my nails naked for a day, I apply it like two or three times a day. In the morning, once, sometimes during the day, and then before bed, if I leave my nails naked. Critical oil time, and this is Biscuits critical oil pen. I used to have four pens, now I'm down to two, but I have that refill bottle, and I love this stuff. And I apply critical oil like between five and time, ten times a day, and that is because every time I handle the guinea pigs, I have to wash my hands. So every time I do that, I apply critical oil. So I'm being very generous here, and I always do that when I do my nails. I'm being very generous when I do it. I don't know, just rub it all around the nail and cuticles and on my fingertips too. And then I use the simply sealed stick again, and that is basically my daily. Routine, critical oil and lotion stick and lotion several times a day. And then before bed, I use some of these items again. I use the critical oil and the simply sealed. This cotton I have several pairs, but what I do, I do a good layer of coconut oil, a good layer of the Simply Seal, and I'm being very generous when I'm doing this. And then I do some lotion for that. And then put the gloves on, and I sleep with the gloves. And when I wake up, are soft and nice. And I'm 
also use rubber gloves when I do the dishes and before I wear the rubber gloves I apply lotion too. So yeah that is basically what I do to care for my nails. I hope you like this video and please leave me a comment down below and thanks for watching. Bye bye.